Yo, what's up guys? We are back with another one. It's been a while and I'm finally back and got more content for you guys. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Brian. I usually do, where I work on my car and I like to vlog it and show you guys some maybe easy steps for you guys, but yeah, let's get today started. So today we're gonna be painting my rims. My works I had before were white, but I plastic dipped them. So underneath were gold. And today we're gonna be painting them for under $200. I found a way you could do it. And I'm gonna show you guys today. It, you guys might not approve of this way, but for people with a budget, right? You gotta do what you can, save money. So yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna take these rims out with all this junk around it. Um, yeah, let's get started. Like right now, I was about to paint, but I have to take that off and redo it because I gotta get the sanded down first, right? Yeah, let's uh, get started and see how long this will take us. This is what I'm using 600 grit. Apparently, that's what people are recommending me to use, and then I just do wet, wet sandpaper so you just. Dip it in water, fucking put water on it, doesn't matter. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Dip it in. It's fucking cold. Oh, I should have took that hubcap off, but it's fine. Okay. Let's try it out. Come off the paint. That's what you kind of want. Took not that long, but sanded it. You gotta move it in the garage because it's getting all moist. Yeah, move in the garage, let it dry, and then we'll tape it up. But what I'm painting the face and not the chrome I'm leaving the chrome and the hardware I will be painting and I will show you what I'll be doing because I want it to be black I don't want it to be all white because I actually like the black hardware and I'll show you a way where you don't have to go out and buy more hardware because I know it's pretty expensive to buy hardware but yeah we will hopefully the way I'm trying to do it works so let's move them inside, get them dry, and then prep them for paint. Yo, okay, so I made a booth because I don't want all the dust and everything. It's kind of a half booth because the garage opens up. So hopefully, well, I should unplug the garage actually. There you go. So, this is what we got. Uh, 
I just gotta dry them. Got a heater going on. Probably just use the blow dryer or heat gun if I have one right now. And yeah, let's get them drier faster and then I could probably prep them for paint. What's up world? Steven Hong here with the vlog. It's my boy. <laughs> Brian, you win. So what are you doing? We are uh, prepping the wheel for paint. Ah, so what's this for? Uh, Am I putting you on the spot? No, whoa, we're putting this up. <laughs> this is for my car. Steven finally came back. I finally came back. Remember the TSX? Okay, I don't know if anyone said that. <laughs> <laughs> so Steven, what's next for your phone? What's next? Um, I don't know. Oh, the dash cap from yeah. over a year ago. Yeah, we'll do that. What else do you have? Uh, I Maybe have... Maybe a side skirt? I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta replace my brake pads. Mm. Yeah. Basically. Fuck a mask. I think you might have to try it. Ugh. You have a screwdriver? That hole? Or is there like... Oh. You're stupid. Okay, we're stupid. Let's go. I'll do this with this. What the fuck? Why does this look so No, that's the same one I had. I'm trying to go for all the hard spots. So when we do the other side, it's easier. How many coats are you gonna do? With a primer? Yeah. Well, I only have a bottle, so <laughs> maybe two. Okay, this is what we got right now. Two coats of primer. I'm gonna do the fucking first coat of my white. I got three cans just in case. I was trying to look for metallic, but I didn't have it. So I guess this will do. Let's see how this turns out. It's uh, probably have to wait like 15 minutes for each coat. I'll probably do, probably do three or four. I really want it to be really white. Okay, wear a mask now because of the I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but trying to get all the hard places first because that's what I want. So it's easier to paint later on, right? Or else you'll see all like that. But you're just trying to hit your wheel with the paint. Every part. And uh, no, not too heavy though, because this is just the first coat, right? Shit, it shot something out here. I can't really see it. It's done the first coat. Doesn't look that bad right now. Kinda 
hard to paint because there's so many fucking spokes that so now it's shooting something out yeah hopefully it turns out well I'll we'll catch you guys back okay I'm on my last coat I did two coats light coats third coat is medium my fourth coat will be really heavy. This is what it looks like, it's not bad. Pretty nice. It's like some random ones that look weird, like no spots, but. Okay, last coat, I might do two more, cause why not, right? You want it to be one wider. That's my fourth coat. Looks really good. Probably gonna put one more coat. Just cause we have like another can. But yeah, let's do it. A few hours later. Oh, I gotta break, take this apart, but. Boom. For some reason, like, when I was spraying it, it came, like something came out of it. So now there's leaving these bumpy, these bumpy surfaces. Like, I don't know what to do. I might have to sand all four down again. But, it actually turned out really nice. I might just put them on for now. And, rip around until I get what I need. Basically what I was saying, cause I was saying I was gonna take these studs out, right? I mean, they're gonna, I was gonna leave them black. So basically I ordered one full set. So cause uh, one rim has 40, so I ordered 40 bolts. And I'm gonna put them in. So uh, the easiest way is I heard you could take one by one out and swap it with the new one. And that's what I'm gonna do. And basically the one, the 40 that is left over, I'm gonna try. And I'm either gonna paint them black again or paint thinner them and see how that goes because um, yeah, the hardware is pretty expensive. And like, these are basically all brand new hardware. They're just painted white, right? And obviously we're gonna try saving them. And yeah, uh, let's uh, put these rims on and uh, see how it goes. So this is dry. Let's take this apart. Look at that. Boom. I don't know how I feel about all white. Definitely going to make them black again. But for now, not bad. 
I don't know, it looks kind of weird to me. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if uh, you guys like the all white or you still want me to go all black like how I'm gonna. Hey, what's up guys? It's been two days now and I just wanted my rims to dry. That's what they look like. Or to cure. Oh, but if you look closely, there's like these little, like, I don't know, like, it's from the spray, the can. And it like shot something out, I don't know. But I'm gonna sand it down with my 600 grit really lightly to see if it comes out. Cause like, it's not like a smooth, smooth surface. I wanna see how that goes. And then we'll put them on cause, yeah, I really wanna put them on today and see how that goes. Uh, so, got a bucket of soapy water and let's see. Just put this on here. Okay. I really don't want to sand too hard because I really don't want to repaint these. But let's see what happens, right? I think that's soapy enough. Got my 600 grit here. In fact, I'm kind of scared. I don't want to scratch it. I think it actually helped a little bit. Time to put it on. Done. What do you guys think? I think this side's left corner is a little bit lower Let's see. two fingers don't fit just one I think that's good for now because if I go any lower I'm literally I won't even make it out of my own driveway I'm just insane yeah what do you guys think besides uh, I think like 0.1 or 0.5 lower I can't remember but there's a five millimeter spacers only in the rear because I want it to stick out a little bit more do you guys like the all white or should I still do with the black bolts leave a comment down below what you guys think yeah this is the, the rear view not bad haven't seen this look in a while because of our crazy winter in Vancouver What do you guys think? Should I go a tad bit lower? I feel like they're all fun. They're like off by like just a little bit. Not even that, not even that noticeable. But I'm probably gonna adjust it, like raise this side up just like maybe two turns on both sides because I think this rear is a little bit lower. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, the setup again, which I had. Um, I will get back to you guys on when I change the bolts black. Um, it should be here. I ordered them, so it should be here this week. And then I will definitely vlog that and see. Uh, I'll show you guys what what you guys can do about it. It's going to be like a full day to do or something, but you know, it shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully this video helped you guys on painting your own three-piece wheels. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll catch you on our next vlog. And give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and check out our merch. Go on uh, inspiredapparel.ca, cop a merch, help us out, 
and we will catch you guys next time. Peace.